Let's go to Swanson Stadium. There are the Titans. They jumped out to a 21-8 lead in this one. Third quarter, east to Terrace Dotson. Where is he? There he is. He pops one. He's going all the way, but watch what happens. He's hit at the five. The ball comes loose. It's out of bounds. Went, he fumbled it. It went through the end zone, and it's ruled a touchback. The Titans got the ball to 20. Connor Dennis threw two TD passes in the first half. Third quarter keeper, but uh-oh. He got injured on that play. He had to leave. He was done for the night. Left with his parents. That was not good. Hopefully, he rebounds from that. Joey Apino came in at quarterback in his place. Gets picked off here by Samuel Young, it appeared. Great grab by Young, but no, it was wiped out by a penalty against the E-Rads. He's trying to get that duo of Javius Catlin and Dotson going. Catlin had a kick return for a TD earlier, but he is stopped on that play. Apino again at quarterback for the Titans, looking downfield. Mason Calter Jerome's got it for a big pickup inside the 20. Mark Harris here, he had two touchdowns in the first half. Nice run for the young man on that play. Moments later, it's Apino faking the handoff. He's going to keep it, and he's got the athleticism to turn the edge for the touchdown. 28-8, to boiling at that point. East QB, Ryan Larson, look at this. Throw it for the end zone, and... And a crowd to Miles Clark Tate hold it in for a touchdown. Oh, my, what a play. Boylan went on to win this game by the final score of 38-14. Uh, to 14. It's very special. Uh, it's just getting momentum to go on the playoffs and just getting better and better every day in practice. You supplied some points there in that first half with two touchdowns. Just tell me about your drive, your dedication, and how badly you wanted to Go out on a winning note tonight. Uh, I just came. This game was very personal for me. I just came, try to go hard every play, and just, just try to get get a better play for my team. Just try to get in the touchdown. They are a physical team, right? I mean, how physical was it out there? Uh, that was them in that North game, and this game were up there, number one and two. They were physical, and we knew it coming in, and that was our game plan too. And. It was a good game, good physical game, and they're always going to play physical, and I love that kind of football. That was the focus uh, all week long was uh, having to play a complete game, uh, offense, defense, and specials. And again, while, while we weren't perfect, I thought the defense had a good week of practice, a uh, good two weeks of practice here, so we stacked some things up. Uh, and then we were able to, to just get to all the gaps, make all the key reads, and, and be physical. Hopefully Connor Dennis is okay, but what a luxury to have a Joey Apino there ready to go, huh? Uh, again, it's uh, for, for the amount of reps he got this week, to be able to come in and do a job like that and, and really not miss much of a beat uh, and, and not, have the, not have anybody else hang their head. We, I was so impressed by Joey, offense and defense. Uh, he's going to get some more reps, probably look more going forward, uh, but he, I thought he did a fantastic job for us. We are joined now by our Nick 10 analyst, Tim Bailey, who was at that game from start to finish. Let's talk a little quarterbacks first. Connor Dennis, first half, couple TD passes, and then got the injury. So what did you see from Connor Dennis in the first half? I saw a different quarterback. Mm. Um, as, I, as I shared with you tonight, I saw the maturation, seeing this kid week by week by week by week, the growth that he's had, playing, playing with more poise, making the throws, making the reads, you know, just facilitating the offense. I mean, this, this, this young man has grown up, and, and, and again, the kid's only a sophomore. Sky's the limits for him, but the way he played tonight was, was exceptional. So, so he gets injured, okay. Joey Apino, who's a senior, comes in, takes his place at quarterback, Tim. As I said to Coach Katz there at the end, what a luxury. I mean, how many teams can turn to a, a caliber of quarterback as your backup, like a Joey Apino? So, again, we hope Dennis is okay and ready Absolutely. to go for the playoffs. But, again, yes. if Apino's the guy, they're still in pretty good shape, right? Yeah, I mean, he's going to have to step up. Um, as, as you saw tonight, he came in, and I thought, I thought he did a phenomenal job, you know, rallying the guys, you know, after Dennis went down. Um, and that says a lot, you know, playoffs start next week, you know, and, and we hope and pray that, that, that Dennis is okay, um, you know, but if he can't go, you know, it's, it's, that, it's that next man up mentality and the is going to be that guy. Let's talk about, we talk about the boiling offense, talk about the East offense a little bit. They're very grounded pound, love to run the ball. And they did a really good job of that tonight against a, a tough boiling defense. Yeah, they did. Um, you know, you know, that, that, the, the dynamic duel, you know, Batman and Robin, you know, you saw right. them out there tonight. You know, those guys were doing their thing, you know, and, and, and it's, an, it's unfortunate, that, you know, that they came up with the loss, you know, um, you know, but boy, them play great defense, you know, but, but still, you know, you know, I'm not taking any way, anything away from the dynamic duo. Um, you know, they played well, they ran hard, um, you know, they, they, they made their cuts, they did everything that they were supposed to do as a running back, um, you know, I, you know with, with, with a little bit better blocking, 
I think it would have been a probably different ball game because those guys only need 1.2, 2 point seconds to actually make their move and go. Right. So, um, but the dynamic duel, they played well tonight. And, and, and here, here's the beauty of it all. They're only sophomores. So we're going to see those guys for the next two years. Absolutely. So I'm excited. Bright future for them. Absolutely. Uh, let's, you know, continue to, to go on off that a little bit. Um, what else did you like from East's offense tonight? You know, you talked about how the run game's there. We know that's very impressive, but the score may not reflect the f- what how well East actually played. Yeah, they played hard. I mean, in, in the first half, in, in the first half, you know, I, I think one big thing, one big challenge that they had was just stopping Boylan's running game. And then Coach Coach um, Coach Griffin and his staff made the adjustment in the second half, as you could tell. And Boylan wasn't really successful in the second half as, as running the ball as they were in the first half. Um, as it relates to East's offense, I thought Larson really played a really decent game. Um, you know, he threw the ball well. I think he, he, was, he, was, he was a little bit more poised than I've seen him in the weeks past. Um, you know, the kid grew up. You know, he, another kid at quarterback who's mm-hmm. made some strides. Absolutely. Yeah, and he threw that beautiful touchdown pass at the end. Tim, the beauty of it is both these teams are most likely going to the playoffs, so they've yes, got so another well. game to play. As a former player in 20 seconds, give some advice to all of our football players out there who are going to the playoffs. What advice would you have for those guys? Well, my advice is, 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 is pretty simple. Um, it, it's, it's a whole new week. It's a whole new season. Um, get ready. Um, you know, understand, you know, what's at stake. Um, you know, also, too, you know, you know, watch film on your opponents because, you know, you, you're, you may be coming up and get, playing against a team that you've never played against before. It's not in your conference. So when you do get that film, spend time with it. Love it. Squeeze it. Enjoy it. Uh, because you only get one opportunity at, at high school football to make the playoffs. And, and um, you know, hopefully we can see some good Nick 10 schools actually progress as the weeks to yep. come. Cherish the moment, seize the moment. All right, thanks, Tim. Absolutely.